Hi everyone and good morning. Today is Saturday, the 18th of April, 2015. I'm Anna Coyman. Hey everybody, welcome into Fox and Friends. Good morning. It's mid-April, Saturday morning. We're really glad to see you. Good morning, Anna. Nice good to morning, see you please. guys this morning. And the big question this morning, is it okay to send requests for your kid's birthday when you send out the invitations to the parents? You must send gift receipts. <laughs> yeah, send gift receipts. And these are the <laughs> items that I would like you to bring to the birthday party. The big viral debate on A birthday right. registry. Not much of a debate, actually. One well, side's right, the other's wrong, but we'll tell you which one. Go to our Facebook page this morning. You can weigh in on that. We'll get to that in a little bit. All right, but first, we need to get right to this Fox News alert targeting Americans. ISIS now taking responsibility for a deadly attack out. Well, welcome back to Fox and Friends on this Saturday morning. Here is your shot of the morning. Let's call it the Dewey Decibel System. <laughs> Decibel <laughs> System. That's as pretty some, clever. As some librarians make some noise in the, this swift way to celebrate National Library Week. Watch. Tom Chapin, have you ever heard of him? Tom Chapin. The song was uh, the library song, and it was, I'm going down to the library, picking out a book, check it in, check it out. I'm going to say <laughs> hi to the dictionary. Anyway, it, it teaches I kids a thing that. or two. So. Can you put a music video together for that? <laughs> so here's the story. That. This will get your blood pressure going. It's only oh. 6.32 in the morning, but listen to this. A mom is under fire after an email she sent to time, so presumably somewhere in the central time zone, by the way. She says this, if you choose... Getting more publicity than she deserves. It sounds like she's off her rocker a little bit. Well, yeah, well, I mean, well, not, she, not just in this aspect of her life, but possibly Well, she others. goes on to say, whatever you do, don't give our son any monogrammed or personalized gifts because that's the number one cause of kidnapping. Kidnapping, which is one of these scourges that doesn't really exist for the most part in the United States, but everyone's afraid of it. Yeah, she says anything that's personalized, he will wear only inside the house. I feel so sorry for this kid. Only AKA, okay, hey, I can't return it because his initials are on it and get the yeah, money to go also, buy like, the nefarious level things. Of neuroses. She says, with formula costing us $80 a week, it's always nice to be able to return items that he doesn't need to get formula instead. So basically get it's a formula. fundraiser. A fundraiser posing as a right, birthday sure. party. Well, wow, I'd love to be invited to her party. We don't have her name, unfortunately. It's been redacted from the email. But what do you think of this? Are you impressed? Do you do this when you invite people to your children's first birthday oh. parties? Do you send a, a registry? I love the know. things. I no love way. the things she's asking for, by the way. But but we'll post them up on our Facebook page. You can see the full gist of this email. Unreal. All right, some other stories making headlines this Saturday morning. Now the parents in people's futures being determined by internet mobs. You do? Yeah, absolutely. Let's just open it up to the mob. It's like the Shirley Jackson story. Well, we don't have the, stoner to death. We don't have the other side of the video fully. And as a surgeon, he has a fantastic reputation, you say. Would you come to his side on this? I would come to his side from that point of view. He who learning the facts because a lot of these products are not firmly tested and backed by the FDA. And I think he really does believe in these products, right? I think he does. That's not good enough for me. We take medical accuracy really, really seriously because millions of think he'll stay or go. He better stay on the faculty, but he should watch what he says. 28 minutes after the hour, and I'll take a look at this. She was ready. Uh, and chocolate. And chocolate. You know, they, they, the big fight back and forth between them and the French on who invented the French fry. I think of berets and ha-ha, oui, oui. The freedom fry. <laughs> the freedom fry. Anyway. All right, we need to get to your Saturday morning headlines now. And Oklahoma, they're much better with friends. They so you are don't better end with up friends. With, with somebody next to you who's taken up one and a half chairs and they're crowding There's your leg room. Snoring, but it's still no reason. Of course, we'll show you the video and show you, or show you the pictures of the guy getting stabbed with a pen because the woman didn't like his snoring next to him. So he wakes up with pen marks. Snoring is annoying. As a snorer, I can say that. I think yeah. passengers are just getting so fed up because they're not getting treated correctly. On the on the flights, they're not exactly. getting fed anymore. I hear the leg room is exactly. sinking. If I hear snoring like that, like what we just played, I'm getting out my shiv. <laughs> I will cut you. All right, now to no. a Fox News alert now because we got so much to get to this hour. Ice. Hey, welcome back to Fox and Friends on this Saturday morning. Well, good news uh, for for Senator uh, Marco Rubio. Uh, oh yeah, remember when this happened? Take a look. And Hillary came by in her big glasses and didn't say hello and reportedly didn't tip and didn't talk to any of the customers in there. But now this publicity, they were laughing all the way to the bank. Well, since when do you tip at Chipotle? Did she get slammed? For I don't. Not you know what? I don't know if I've chip, tipped at Chipotle either, unless it's I'm expensive getting enough. takeaway. A burrito is expensive enough. Who's tipping at Chipotle? I know that our office dog ate Chipotle and bad things happen, so I've never been. <laughs> okay, so you just heard Clayton just did this amazing segment about how this. The school was accused of racism because they served Mexican food at some event with extraterrestrials where it was insane, but right. another accusation of racism. Almost every single incident of real racism I see happens on the left, amazingly enough, and here's just another example. This comes from the South Bend Community School, white and black, and decided to send only the black students to go visit colleges 
because I don't know why. Yeah, this is according to a local ABC affiliate, WBND, and there are apparently seven schools that are doing this. This is a quote from David Moss. He's a South Bend Community Schools uh, Corporation. He's from there. He says, I want Come something on. similar from flying over Those the Those are oval-headed aliens with reptilian skin and weird almond-shaped, overly large eyes right. coming to perform medical experiments on our citizens. And saying, ET phone home. And obviously they go to Tijuana. Needless who to say, who doesn't? Right? Senior frogs. Them and half the U.S. Marine Corps. <laughs> They're all... <laughs> okay, Rick? Clayton, this is going to be a mistake by an air marshal that'll make you wonder how he got hired in the first place. Maybe not the first time you've wondered that. And bring us 60... Everybody, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having us. So that tirade, I think it caught everybody by surprise because it kept getting worse and worse and worse. Mm -hmm. She also uh, attacked her intelligence, her weight, her smile, talking about how she didn't have any teeth, no brain in her head. Catherine, is seven days enough? No, I don't even think she's going to be able to do her job after seven days because she's not going to be able to interview people. Sorry to this person no. for hurting your feelings. Eric, do, does she deserve a second chance, though? Uh, she... she um, yeah, I mean, can she come back from this, Lily? Uh, I think it's very difficult because we're remembering you to ESPN, you say, but I, while, while I've got you here and since you're in marketing and branding, what about her brand? Is it is it damaged forever? Or, you know, we've seen it with the fall from grace, Bill Clinton. We've seen it with uh, Michael Vick. I mean, totally different, separate issues. But America seems to be forgiving, and this name recognition could possibly be good for her. Um, yes, America is forgiven, and it all tried to make it up to this poor woman. That's the whole thing, is she doesn't care. She seems to care that she got caught. That's yeah. what I think. And she apologized know? after she got caught. She yeah. didn't, she, yes. she got caught, oh, I'm sorry, and that's what people, we've forgiven for politicians for much worse, mm -hmm. and they've been reelected. so. They're better at apologizing, though. Right. They're exactly. great. Politicians are great at apologizing. Right. I think ultimately the lesson learned here is there's a privilege that comes with being a public figure. And Catherine, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. That video so shocked much. everybody. You should have called Olivia Pope. That's a scandal. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is a scandal. Somebody call Olivia Pope. Right. Where's Olivia Pope? Olivia Pope. <laughs> right. Where's Olivia Pope? Oh, gosh, I love that. Right show. now. <laughs> 27 minutes after the hour, and next on The Rundown, attention passengers.